Um, and so imagine a world where being a young black nerd is, would be, became cooler than being a young black thug. I think that would be a, a totally different, almost utopic space. It's been a fantastic year for Urban Prep. We recently announced that 100% of our graduates were admitted to four-year colleges and universities. Right now, in the popular consciousness, um, people believe that black boys won't read, but my um, assertion is that black boys will read. So there are all these ways in which black men and their power are, are undermined, and we see that I think as well in broader ideas about what it means to be a black nerd as well. Uh, I am considered the first black nerd on TV. And I've, I've talked to brothers who became doctors and lawyers who were inspired by Rods. Who knew? So we had to use teamwork to make this eight foot tall, 1,000 pound robot move and fight. They didn't make a lot of black dolls growing up during the 70s and 80s because predominantly the market was white kids. I mean, it was really white America. Even G.I. Joe, there's like one black G.I. Joe, and that's the one that's worth mo the most money. Comic-Con is the biggest pop culture event in the world, period. There's no bigger pop culture event on the planet in the universe than Comic-Con. I'm definitely a nerd, and as far as I can tell, I'm black, so. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you the reality of uh, Comic-Con. Comic-Con doesn't need DreamWorks. DreamWorks needs Comic-Con. Um, being the director of an African-American culture center, I said, hmm, geek culture is prevalent in our culture also as well, so why not do a black geek week? Blurs for black nerds or bleaks for black geeks. There are people like us all over the place. Be strong and confident in your quest to be the smart brown person that you are. Of the East Coast Black Age of Comics Convention, and every year gets better and better, but this really was the best in terms of the turnout, um, what happened today, the workshops, the um, kinds of people who showed up from youth who were literally toddlers up to our elder cartoonist Samuel Joyner who's 89 years old. Um, it's a great event. What's cool, man, what's cool about C2E2 is, you know, I feel everybody's so real here, like more real you know, then when you're down the street, everybody's just in costume or, you know, you feel like you could be yourself, you know? It is definitely acceptable and essential for black people to be nerds these days.